make sure to wait. All right. I don't want to hear your shit, bro. Yeah, whatever. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Tech Guy Some Guy podcast. It is episode 20 something. I'm looking. That's five? Not, I think it's five. I'm pretty sure it's five. This is episode 25 of the Tech Guy Some Guy podcast. My name is Carlos alongside. Rod. And uh, we're here where we're basically two, two guys with uh, where we talk tech news, 25. pop culture, random rants in between. And you did say 25? 25. 25, damn episode it. Episode 25. I feel a little hyper today. That's that last uh, boost of... Uh, I think it's the two cans of Pepsi I just had. Oh, two. Oh, oh shit. I was up there, that last uh, desperation boost of energy. Yeah, this is crash. this is the last hurrah. Um, it's, 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 we're doing a late filming. We, we were supposed to film on Thursday. It's Saturday. It's not the morning. It's 9 o'clock at night. I've been in the studio for 14 and a half hours. And I have been in here... Twice. Twice. <laughs> it's been crazy. Yeah. It's, been, it's been like, I, like no, you know what ended up. You know what the problem did this week was. I, I told you, um, last week I had a whole bunch of shoots scheduled. Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah. Awesome shoots. Great, great clients and everything like that. Great time. But usually I give them proofs and they give you know they say I tell them let me know when when uh, you're ready. Uh-huh. Uh, make your final selections and I'll edit those. Yeah. Usually it takes people a week, two weeks. People are yo. People everybody are responded by like Tuesday oh, morning. Oh god! So next, you know, I'm here like with everybody and their mother, oh, which is awesome. It's good. But, but now like, I'm like, yo, happens. I have to. It never happens. Yeah. That was like the perfect storm situation. Yeah. So yeah. this whole except, week I've been pulling. Except the cast it died. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I can't believe you actually brought that reference from like 15 years ago, dude. <laughs> yeah, perfect storm. You think what happened? Every it's one of those movies where you can say everybody died and be 100 percent and be 100 percent. I was just kidding. No, nope, everybody yeah, died. Died. So their wives lived. Exactly. The end. <laughs> that, that, so so this whole week has been nothing but like 12 hour, 14 hour, 16 hour days. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm dead, dude. D- and D- D- dead. and tomorrow I have another photo shoot. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been working every single day, every day, for the past six weeks, give or take. Every, whenever you go and, on vacation, it's going to be amazing. Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be amazing. I don't even know how I'm going to take vacation. And it looks like I'm not going to have a day off until right now it's looking like the end of the month, hopefully. Fine. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's been a little crazy. That's why we're filming so late. Yeah. So, my now, bad. Now that you're all caught up. Episode 25, it is official. Yes, yeah, for you. You people. You people. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Uh, okay, so... Let me put this on silent before I forget. Go ahead. I'm yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy came out. Okay, yeah. Uh, we didn't watch it yet. Nope. I'll be watching it tomorrow. I'm watching it on the 20th. So, I'll have a spoiler-free review... Please. ...this week. Actually, you guys get, you know, probably... Yeah, but, but so, you so. told me something that made me be like... I kind of saw something like this coming. Yeah. The, the Thursday numbers. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like 17 million. Um, that's... that's it's not that good for them. Pretty bad, but that that doesn't mean they won't make it up. Oh, they're gonna make it just fine, but they'll be fine. But we'll see, cause Doctor Strange, you would think Doctor Strange kind of has all the formula. They they closed out like three hundred mil, which is all right, but that's kind of low for Marvel. See, look, right now this is what it's looking like. This thing is gonna dominate with around one hundred and forty million. That's kind of low. Yeah, cause like there's a lot of movies that easily in a weekend, like two days. Yeah, so it's like that's not. That's globally. Well, see the the problem that I think I, I think I mentioned this is, I think I mentioned this maybe a while ago where I was like, Marvel is gonna get put into a situation where everyone's gonna be like, oh here's another one, oh here's another one, and like was this it? I don't think so, but we'll see. It could be. Uh, look, he even said it. It's kicking. It's it's even though the figure is coming in slightly lower than the forecast. Yeah. See. Yeah, they they did that. I mean, they didn't have they had it pegged for making maybe 150 mil, so they didn't really have a lot of uh, faith nope. in it. Right now, it looks like it looks like uh, it, it is not the biggest launch for 2017. Nah. Nah. Biggest launch for 2017, which actually I'm not surprised. Beauty and the Beast. 174 million, dude. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's fifth largest next to the Avengers, uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, Civil War, and Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 had a bigger opening. That is sad. All those movies suck. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, hold on. They eh. didn't suck. But they no, were, Avengers was good. Avengers, what, Age of Ultron? Both of them. Civil War and Civil Iron War. Man 3. They were all probably, for me, those are probably my worst. The Avengers? Movies. 
No, not the original one. It's the second one. Oh, okay. Age yeah, of Age of Ultron. Ultron right. Civil War, Iron Man 3. No, Iron Man 3 is the worst movie out of all of them. All of them. There's no way you could convince me otherwise. I'm not trying to. Good, because... Iron Man, Iron Man 3 was bad. It was really bad. Bad. But, you know, it is what it is. So that, that's the thing about Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like, is it going to get to the point where, where it's, it's, we're getting tired of Marvel? It's going in under numbers, even though we were expecting something like global. Only, only like 10 million more. So yeah. they didn't really have high expectations for it anyway. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. So it's like, that, that for me is like, wow, that's weird. Yeah, but, but we'll, um, we'll see. It's going to be a busy year, uh, movie-wise. So. Yeah, but that's the other thing. Cause <clears throat> the next big one is what? Wonder Woman. June something, right? June uh, second. <laughs> that one for weeks. Something. Yeah, I'm wait. Can't wait for that. I one. think a lot of people are waiting for that one. I'm more interested in that one out of probably anything. Maybe, maybe episode eight not in December. League. No, December. Uh, not Star Wars. Even, not even Justice League. Justice League November. There you yeah. go. Thank you. See, that's the thing. It's like okay, then you go Thor Ragnarok. I don't think Thor Ragnarok is gonna do good, dude. We'll see. See, but they need more. That, that the trailer was cool, but I'm like, you need to. But remember what I told you? I think that trailer looks so much like Guardians of the Galaxy the sequel. Yeah, it does. And that's the problem that I have with it. It's like, did you guys see a Guardians of the Galaxy formula and said, hey, maybe we can do that? And I don't know. It's just weird. But can't knock it. They're making money. Everyone's happy. So hopefully we'll be able to get yeah. to the finish line of the whole epic story arc that is the whole Marvel's universe. So yeah, let's see. Right. Let's see how they do on that. Finish line. They keep going. I know, but at least this story arc. This continue, yeah. This one started with Avengers. Or yeah, so it's like, all right, finish it up. Let's see what happens. Uh, whatever the case. Um, oh, Microsoft. So Microsoft had their event Tuesday. Uh, oh, the Surface thing, right? Yeah, Surface laptop. What'd you think of it? It's you went. Yeah, I was there. How was it? It's a nice, sexy piece of thing. Very nice. Trying to, uh, I'm like, you trying to crack your neck? Yeah, did it pick it up? Yeah, well, it picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, that was good. The laptop itself is amazing. It's super, it's, it's, it's dope. Oh, wait, thin. what laptop is this you have right now? This is the 2016 Mac, 15 inch MacBook Pro. Okay, so compared to that one, is how big is it? It's just as big? No, it's smaller. It's a 13.5 inch screen. Okay, and is, uh, it's a light. You don't have a lot of ports still, but Microsoft always kind of fumble, always drop the ball when it comes to ports. Okay. You only got like, you got one USB 3, one uh, headphone jack, one charging port, and one mini display. So they're just trying to get everything. Wow, okay. <laughs> they're like, all right, keep it moving. They're like, they're um, like all these little ones, boom, 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 yeah, let's go. Yeah, one of each. Touch screen, um, the, the speakers are Dolby speakers underneath the keyboard. Oh, so there, so so there's vents in the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Huh, that's interesting. That's interesting. It uses a, a Alcantara, which is like a. Yeah, I know Alcantara. Yeah, so it's a car use, thing. Oh, really? There's Alcantara seats, yeah. Nice. So previously, I actually have uh, my Surface Pro. Actually, yeah, when, when we were using Audacity and stuff, yeah, that keyboard was made of Alcantara. Right. Okay. So now that. It's a, the whole laptop is metal, but the top part is Alcantara. Nice. So that, that, that. The finish that, is high quality. Yeah. So you, it's, it's light. You can open up the laptop with one finger, one hand. Damn. So, but okay. it's, you know, but you still got 7th gen, uh, Core i5 chips, uh, options of 4 gigs, 8 gigs, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 128, 256, 512, uh, it's called Surface Laptop. You're typing this. Don't, don't, don't question me, bro. I suck at this. Give That's me a fine. second. No, it's right there. Um, so the mm -hmm. software is an interesting thing. The software is very, very powerful, but for most people, they're probably not going to get it. Get in, get it for that. Okay, what was the software? Software is... Convince me, bro. I'm not going to convince you. I'll convince you for the laptop. So the software is, is, is kind of a mixed bag. So there... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So they're Microsoft's, uh, you know, cloud-based combatant to Chrome OS and Chromebooks is called Windows 10 S. And it is, you know, education focused. You have a lot of different things. Uh, you have access to anything that's in the, uh, how about say Play Store, within the Windows Store, so you can download it. If it's in the Windows Store, you can download it and use it. So can do the stylus? Yes. Hmm. Uh, pricing's a little high, but what's the pricing? Starts at a thousand for the starts at a thousand for the four gigs of RAM, one hundred twenty-eight gig storage. 
I'm like, that should have been eight two fifty six. That would have made more sense. Yeah. But um. It's an yeah. interesting looking. That's the book. That's not. That no, that that yeah, no, I saw. I saw that. But the. It's the, almost like it. Yeah. This, yeah, that's not it. That's, that's it. it. The surf. It's a laptop. It's not a two in one. It doesn't detach. It's it's just, it's really a laptop. It's a laptop. All the time. So, but back to Windows 10s. Uh huh. It's um, it's free. Uh, the laptop will be out in June. Uh huh. Uh, Windows 10s software will be out uh, later this later in the summer. So it's a Chrome competitor, basically. It's, yeah, it's it'll be, this, it'll be, gonna yeah, it'll it's be Chrome. ready for this this fall for school. So you have you'll have options for all this 3D tech and all this cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll have. Oh options. yeah, you really see that Alcantara. Yeah. So you'll have options for all that stuff act accessible. And the thing is, if you need more power, if you need a full version of it, if you need to do more. You can upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. <laughs> I don't know why this popped in my head. Right now I'm looking at the, the color combos they have. Yeah. And I don't know why this popped in my head. They have a midnight blue. Yes. They have a slate gray. Yes. Heather gray. And I don't know why this looks like Ron Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first thing that popped in my head. I was like, let me see, let me see if I can come up with some names. Oh. Yeah. And I saw, Mr. I saw Midnight Blue, I saw Slate Gray, Heather Gray, and I was like, Ron Burgundy. Heather Gray and Ron Burgundy, that's, that's hilarious. Wait a minute, wasn't Heather Gray a porn star? Probably. Sounds pornish. It very, sounds very pornish. Yeah. Alright, time to find out. Alright, so, so you can upgrade from Windows 10 S to Windows 10 Pro for 50 bucks. Whoa, okay. So that's you, big. So if you need more, so that is pretty interesting. The thing is, you can also do that with that, but it's like after dropping a thousand, now I gotta pay another fifty bucks to upgrade. So it's like, uh, but but as far as like what it can do, yeah, I put Heather Gray and like a whole bunch of different girls come out. Heather Hunter, Hunter that came out. I forgot about Heather Hunter. Sorry, old school. Going back, going back to the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hi, mom. I can, <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I can say some things, but I won't. Look at it. Oh. Uh, Love you too, bro. I'll tell you after the pass. I'll okay. tell you afterwards. Um, yeah, so it's an interesting competitor, and um, this is the window. The Surface laptop, of course, got all the shine, but it's not the only thing. Uh, ASUS has one. Uh, Acer, a couple other companies, uh, have their own like laptops running Windows 10 S that you can use. Hmm. I'm looking at this, and the low end Surface is 128 gig SSD, right? Yeah. Four gigabytes RAM, Intel HD Graphics 620. Intel i5, i5, i5 7, Kaby Lake. 7th gen, so it's not like a whole ass chip. Right, no, no, because it's running K, uh, what is Kaby it, Kaby Lake, Lake is yeah. what they call it? Yeah. That's the chipset, interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Higher end, 512 gigabytes? All that, all that SSDs, huh? Yeah, all, yeah, that's all they use is SSDs. Hmm. Uh, so it's, like I said, it's, hmm. it's, it's, interesting. it's a very interesting thing. I mean, I was just kind of mad because at the, at the uh, event, they had like, uh, you know, afterwards, you go downstairs and there's a demo area and you have to, it's like, yeah, HoloLens area, which I, I didn't have time to do. Like one of these days, I'm going to sit down and be like, I'm not... It's always like on a Wednesday or something. I'm only here for HoloLens. That's it. I, well, I, I kind of have to do that. So, they have all this other stuff. They had one table uh -huh. for the Surface laptop. They had another, actually two tables, but one of the tables was just that picture you, sh you, sh you saw, the other picture with all of them lined up. Yeah. You couldn't touch those. They were just there. And then the ones you could touch are this other table. So, I'm like, really? Yeah, you know everybody gonna want to put hands on this one. And you have one table. I mean, it was like. It's so like, it's like the little things that you're like, really, yeah, dude. Yeah, it was like really. Six, maybe like six or seven, maybe eight of those, eight at that table. But it still was like, yo, y'all invited mad press, and everybody gonna try to get picked. You know, yeah. they gonna want. So picked. basically, nobody was able to touch it. No, I mean, you just had to wait. You know, it. It'd yeah, be but like, you don't got patience uh, to wait. I don't think you're the dude. I well, I'm, I waited because. Well, you didn't course, have much of a choice. Because, of course, I got their CP time. Um, um, CB time? CP time. Color people time. Damn! Jesus. Uh, so I'm here like... I'm here like... It's like, unlock the mysteries of the universe and explain to me what the F is that. The, <laughs> see, like, we, like we have, like, Puerto Rican time. We have, like, Spanish time. Color people time. Color, color people, people time, time kind of It fills in all the blanks. We're all in it. We're all in it together, bro. Um, yeah, so I got there a little late because um, I was slept and I was like, oh, I have a while. I dropped 
the White Falls. I was like, I'll just get there when I get there. Because I, I, I'm not driving in. It's on Fifth Avenue or something like that. Oh, I'm you're not, not driving. Something I'm not driving You're in. not driving to Fifth Avenue. So Forget I that. Gotta do this, I got to do it again on Tuesday because there's two other events. But What's on Tuesday? Anything good? Um, I, like I don't even know. I'm trying to think. Can I say it? Yeah. One, one uh, fossil event. Nice. And then another one's... Uh, com- oh, remember that wooden um, box... Speaker, yeah, they're availing something nice. New. Uh, so that I got that's both, cool. So I got both of those on next Tuesday, and I think they're both around the same area on Fifth Ave. So Even I'm better. To get there, but I don't have to get there that early because they wanted me there at like nine. I'm like, all right, like, <laughs> good um, luck. So, but that was the surface thing. So this time I got to be there like ten. Okay. So it's cool. So, so what do you think? Um, what you heard so far. I, I think from what I could tell, I'm looking over here. It's sexy as hell. Yeah, it is. It looks, it looks nice. Like, Ron, Ron Burgundy got me, bro. Ron Burgundy got you. Yeah, that's, that uh, mouse that's, is kind of cool too. It's like a curtain. Like I, I hope you might have a time and actually pop up a picture of it or yeah, yeah, I'm look try it to up squeeze that in because I upload it and I, I work on it. Yo, you know what? You should put this picture up just so they could know what I'm talking about I when I say Ron Burgundy. I have that picture. Oh, you do? Okay, I took good. That same picture. Okay, because Ron Burgundy. <laughs> is Everybody awesome. probably took that same picture. Yeah, because I, I like Ron Burgundy just because it just sounds awesome. Um, but um, what I think, what I think, honestly, even even it's most and this is coming from a photographer standpoint. Yeah, yeah. Okay. From a photographer's standpoint, the most basic low-end surface one with the 128 SSD, which is very low, which I'm assuming a good chunk of it is already occupied by the operating system. Yeah. Okay, so now you're talking, let's say if it got rid of 30 gigs, you're looking at 100 gigs, 100 gig laptop. laptop. Oh, you did get the exact same damn picture. Yeah, same picture. Yeah, but you focused on Midnight Blue. I like Ron Burgundy better, bro. Sorry. So yeah, I got pictures. Oh, take it back. You did get it. Okay, yeah, I got a picture of all the colors. Did you really? Okay, yeah. Like, like put put Ron Burgundy. Put Ron Burgundy. Okay, okay. So be the cover art. <laughs> it is gonna be the cover art. Like, oh, you did. Damn, that's scary. Okay, so so. Everybody, everybody but this is what I. Shot. <laughs> but see, look, a hundred a hundred gigs on the low end, with an i5, yeah. with an HD graphics 620 card, yep. and and uh, the KB Lake uh, CPU chipset. Mm-hmm. Honestly. That's not bad for editing. It's not bad. Photography and maybe even Binder video. No, you can like, like you could really do if that. Good, because it's Windows. So you yeah, know and all you got to do is pick up a couple external SSDs to really run the, the mm-hmm. put your storage in. Yep. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you got to think of it like this. What is it that you're going to need it for? Yeah. Like for me, let's say if I'm on the go, like that's for my perfect. position. That's perfect for you. That, oh, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. And, and look at the price, a thousand bucks. <laughs> For the basic version isn't bad yeah. because then all I gotta do is just run my external hard drives and my external backups on it, and I'm good and I'm ready to go wherever wherever this thing needs to take me. That's true. So so honestly, Surface is getting there to the point that I'm like, you know what? Yeah, this this is this is Surface doable. Surface is great. Like I said, I got the Pro Three. Uh, I couldn't, you know, I'm trying to get the other ones that didn't quite work out. That's nah, okay. Still waiting. It's alright, Microsoft. We forgive you. We still love you guys. Stupid. I'm still a Microsoft guy. I have, I have never switched to iOS. Just Mac you know, OS. I'm just letting you know now. Mac OS. <laughs> whatever you call it. I said I don't care. I don't care. I don't deal with them. Sorry. Yeah. I said it. Uh, so yeah. So so yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm in. I'm in for it. All right. Up next, um, Apple. Bro, didn't we just talk about me not having anything to do with Apple? We're. This will be so quick. Okay. This will um, be so quick. Start the clock. Actually, where's the clock? We're at 18 minutes. 18 Go. Minutes. Start the clock. Okay. So Apple. There's rumors. There was rumors previously of uh, Apple doing like a, a speaker uh, powered by Siri, like Amazon Echo, Google Home, blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, report allegedly says it will be unveiled at WWDC this year, which is in a month. When have they ever been there? Do they do they go there regularly? I thought that's the one show they don't go to. WWDC. Yeah. That's their thing. It's theirs. Yeah. Oh, okay, but then I'm wrong. They they used to unveil the iPhone there. But Wasn't then, there one? But then they pushed it back. See, yes. That's the one I'm thinking yeah, of. But then okay. he pushed it back to September and gave it its own event. Apple Home, I guess it's gone. Apple's uh, Siri speaker. Siri speaker. Let's try yeah. that. So. Is there any like um, any like concept and all that other crap? No real imagery. They said it's, it'll probably resemble a, a Logitech UE Boom. Like, of course it will. Um, it's supposed to be, of course, Siri and AirPlay device. Look, this, this week. Nah, yeah. They say it's... They, they're, that's like a... They're throwing pictures of the Beats pill. pill. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's going to do that. But. Nah, but uh, it's coming. Uh, we'll see, because I'm like, Siri was the first out, but it's been like so utterly useless. 
you know what's the funny part? Siri was the first one to really be like, wow, I have an assistant. I could talk to my phone. And over the years, did nothing with it. everything kept on coming up. Everybody kept on coming up to a play and be like, we, we'll beat you, we'll beat you, we'll beat you. And they have. Yeah. I think, personally, they have. Because now we have Alexa. Yeah. We have, uh, Microsoft even has Cortana, right? No, 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 really. They, it exists. Right? They, they no have Cortana. Use, no one's using it, but it um, Bixby is now for the Google stuff. I don't care. Yeah, wait. Samsung thing. They're trying to, you ever seen Mean Girls? Yeah. They're trying to make fetch happen right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> so like Samsung fetch is not going to happen yet. You know it what? can, but right now it's like. You know what's the funny part? It, it's, you're going to see like Sam, like, okay, so we, we got like Bixby. We have Google Voice. Google Home. Home. Now. We got Google Home. We have. Um, Google Systems. We got to have the Amazon. That's Alexa. Alexa. So we have all, now we have competitors. So now that they're trying to outdo each other and they're really focusing on that. Because of that, Siri has become to a point where it's like, all right, it's whatever. <laughs> so it's like, okay, now you guys are stepping up to the, yeah. to the home market. Yeah. They're, they're late to the it's ship. Late, and like, that's crazy. The fact that we're saying Apple is late to the party. I mean, it's not going to be the first time we say it won't be the last at this point. Yeah, that's crazy. But uh, Sorry, yeah, yeah. they came late to the party and this and that. And then... Uh, Amazon, uh, Alexa has so many skills. Google Home is doing a good job as far as playing catch up. They come out of nowhere. Yeah, and really they're, they're, I mean, I'm not saying they're like great, but you know, a lot of people have their things about Apple, like, oh, not Apple, Google, like you're always listening, blah, blah, blah. So fine. If you don't do that, go to Alexa, fine. Yeah, everyone's Siri, gonna listen I, to them I, I, I really can't see a point of buying Siri unless people, you know, Apple Dude, heads, but that's the thing, Apple, Apple heads. heads. Like, want. dude, there are Apple heads that are scary how obsessed they are with it. Yeah, they, they want everything. It's uh, like, why? You have so many options now. If Like, this is the thing with me, and I'm not knocking Apple. They, they make money. Not at Apple, but Apple. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, there's nothing wrong with testing out different products. Like, I'm a, I'm a Volkswagen addict, right? I'm the first one to admit, Toyota's sure. got some nice vehicles. Sure, Tattoo be. I mean, it's it's bad. It's it's an addiction, but that's the thing. It's like I, I'm Volks, I'm addicted to Volkswagen. I, that's all I drive. But if somebody asks me, what do I think about this product? What do yeah, I think yeah. about this? You're not I'm, biased. I'm not biased. Yeah, I used to drive sure. a Honda. I used to drive a Chevy. Yeah. Remember the Chevy, the Chevy Celebrity, the burgundy one with like the fire, yeah. the fiberglass roof with yeah. no headliner. Yeah. I had a headliner that was ripped off, and underneath it was the old um, uh, fiber. Fiberglass yeah, yeah, insulation, yeah. Yeah. so it would like fly everywhere and get in your eyes. It was absolutely horrible. Uh, it was all bad. That. I think all that though. Huh? I think all that. Yeah. Glad yeah. a white one. That's right. You had the white one. one. Yeah. I was yeah. there. What is this first car? It was a, it was a, it was a 1985 Chevy Celebrity. That was <laughs> that was up there. That was a great car, man. Yeah. That was a great car. Then I got a Honda Civic and I did completely destroyed that one. And then I got into Volkswagens and I've been yeah, on them that since. Was, that was it. Yeah, right now I'm like on my 12th Volkswagen. Yeah. But see, that's the thing. It's like I'm addicted to cars, but I'm addicted to Volkswagens. But you can ask me about what do I think of this? What do I think of that? If I had a family hall or anything like that, I would get a Toyota. Mm -hmm. Like I, right now with no hesitation. Yeah. You know, and you know, it, is, it, am I wrong for saying that? No. So the point is, is like Apple guys, some Apple guys are so like closed-minded. Like, closed -minded. Yeah. They, don't, they don't want to admit that there's a lot of other technology out there that is just as good or better. better. You know, and that's the big problem that I personally have. It's like, guys, be open-minded. There's nothing wrong with getting an Apple product. There's nothing wrong with getting this. If anybody asks me, well, Carlos, you could say all that, but you don't have an Apple product. I had an Apple iPod. I did have an iPod. And the reason, and the reason why I don't have it now or I don't have any of the other products is because, honestly, the price is expensive as hell. I'm like, why, why am I going to spend this much money when I could easily get another product that has that could go toe to toe with it without a problem, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna do it right now. Perfect example: we were just talking about the Surface laptop. It's a thousand dollar laptop. It can hold its own against Apple, it, like Airs. I'm assuming. Airs or the regular MacBooks. Or regular MacBooks. Whatever. Think about that. Yeah. Like, and it's a thousand bucks. Yeah. You know why am I gonna spend extra money just to have the Apple logo in the back? You know, I mean, that's, that's the reality. So, so nothing wrong with Apple guys liking their product. That's fine. But, be, like, if you're going to try to argue with me about it, give it more substance. And, and at least be open-minded to say, well, you know what, I, I want to listen to try these other things as well. Yeah. You know, that, that's my only thing that I have about it. That's the only concern that I'm really bugged out about it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What are you looking at? I just see the MacBook. Oh, double-checking? I just want to see the MacBook pricing. 
You know? What is the price? I think it's like twelve hundred for like the basic one or something, isn't it? I think it's twelve, but I'm, I'm just, <laughs> it I'm is. But I'm curious about the specs, though. Like, what are the specs? Here we go. I don't think it's... See, we can argue with this. Like, I don't, no, no, no. Matter of fact, matter fact are you pulling that one up? Le yeah. Like, you know what? Yeah, you're I still winning because it's, it's, it's like give and take. So, all right. So, for 1200 go. you get uh, a 256 gig, uh, uh, you know, SSD. Right. Um, 8 gigs of RAM, Intel AC graphics, but Intel Core M. Three. There you go. Yeah, so it's like, ugh. See? <laughs> see, look, look at that. Like, so, why would they pay twelve thousand for Core M? Right. So, see, there's a, and that's twelve hundred. So I'm paying thirteen hundred. I'm paying three hundred dollars. They all use M's. All right. The Mac, the this, all this, of them? this Mac, where they use M3 here. and M5. Perfect. Now here, here here's a perfect example. The base surface at nine hundred dollars. You might get less hard driving and you might get less RAM, but you will. What you will get is a is a more stronger processor. With those three hundred dollars, you could actually spend on a couple of great external SSDs. Two good SSDs at 150 for, let's say, another 500 gigs or something like mm -hmm. that. And you're good. So what's the problem? And game over, yeah. You know what I mean? So like that, that's the thing that I'm trying, to, like, I'm trying to make the point is like, you're literally spending 300 bucks more for the Apple logo. I'm sorry. That's, that's how I feel about it. You know what I mean? It, and, and does it also come in burgundy? See, it comes in burgundy too. You're stupid. <laughs> yeah, because the 12, yeah. All right. Now, this is, a, this is a better argument. So for 13, you can get Core i5. 8 gigs of RAM, 256 Intel, and the new, basically newer chipset. Yeah, so is that the Surface one? Yeah, that's the Surface one. This is one. a Surface laptop, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so for, for, See, th look. for 13, you can get a good one. Now you're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. At the same price range, at the same price point, you're getting the same RAM, the same SSD. Go back up, hold on. But you're getting... No, no, no. This is a 12. Sorry. Okay, but you're getting a the same graphics card, a better graphics card, and you're getting a better processor. And it's Core i5. Yeah, and you got a Core i5 processor. Yeah. And that one is not quad. I think it's an eight core. No, it's a quad core. The uh, they don't say. Yeah, no, i5. I think is a quad core. So there, what that means is that that you literally could like it runs processors like four times as fast as a regular processor, basically. You know what I mean? So good. That's what you want. Boom. I would. I would choose. I still would choose that. Just because it's running an i5, and I, you could do a lot with an i5, dude. I know. Like, I, I could run a really, really nice gaming um, PC with an i5. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, that's the thing I'm trying to say is, like, guys, please be open-minded. You can do a lot. You really can. So, anyway, next subject. All right. So, Hulu, I know you're, uh... The hell Hulu got? What, you trying to convince me something Hulu? No. I'm just... No, I'm just bring. I'm, I'm just a messenger bee. Don't 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 hark the message. Okay. That, so right. they unveiled live TV for Hulu. Live TV. Yes, live TV. You get 50 plus channels. Uh, DVR, 40 a month. 40 a month. I know. Why? I don't know. That's probably the. Price Wait, what are the channels? Uh, it's pretty much oh. everything YouTube TV has, but. The good ones that YouTube TV are missing, so they have, um, so they have like Boomerang, Cartoon Network, Viceland, TNT, TBS, TBS, HLN, Lifetime, Lifetime Movie Network, History, HGTV, Food Network, Bravo, Travel Channel, True TV, Sprout, Oxygen, and CNN. But does it have the cloud storage? The DVR thing. DVR is a 200 hour cloud based DVR. So they only give you 200, uh, 200 hours. So 40, yes. I can fill that up real quick. Yeah, I know. See, the, the, so you, you're giving me a 200 hour so limit when like YouTube gives me unlimited. Unlimited, yeah. I'll go from YouTube and for five bucks less. Why why would I even consider it? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like it's that. give and take though, but it's like, do you watch anything cartoon? All oh, those channels I just listed, because all those channels I listed are not on YouTube TV right now. Rick and Morty. <laughs> Cartoon Network. Network. Yeah, but that's not on YouTube TV. They don't have Cartoon Network. Uh, I got Showbox. No, no. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, okay. it's give and um, take. Uh, yeah. Support see, for three screens, too. Okay, so that's like the TV, my cell phone, and the tablet. Yeah. Okay, uh, plus, that doesn't oh, convince me. One last thing. Go ahead, try and to then, convince you know, Not to convince you, I'm just giving you the information. Okay, go ahead. I can't, I'm not, I can't say I can convince anybody. And with that, you get the regular Hulu along with it. So if you miss stuff, you can just watch it like a day later. Hmm. And it's ad-free. 
Hmm, that makes sense. So I'm like that. Yeah, See, that, that makes sense because I think the regular Hulu is like ten bucks a month or something like that. Like eight or nine. Yeah. yeah so, so, so now. See that changes the story. So now, they're trying to make a so they they want you they want Hulu, they want you to make Hulu their your one and only. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. See, Which that's is where fine, they're, but their movie. Selection. But see, this, okay, here's here, oh, we're gonna ha- we're gonna go into an interesting conversation. Go because Hulu is only trying to step up to uh, YouTube Live. That's really its main. Yeah, it's not gonna Netflix. Now here's where it gets interesting. You, can, yeah, you watch YouTube? Do you watch YouTube? Like, do you watch YouTube's content creators? Well, like YouTube Red? No, like well, not even YouTube Red. Like, like just YouTube in general. Like, yeah. do you watch? Like, yeah, I watch Casey. I watch MKBC. Okay. I watch Wait, which one's that? Casey. No, I know Casey. Casey Neistat. We're talking about. Yeah, MKBC. MKBC. Who's that? Uh, black kid who uh, talks about tech. Young kid, like tall. Was he the one with the red cameras? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the the like, only I thing I know I'll is like, there's a know. guy. There's a guy on YouTube. What's his name again? Say it again. M- Give him a shot. MKBHT. Okay, MKBHT. D. He's the D. Okay, yeah. he's the guy that goes walks around with two red cameras. Well, he has an assistant now, so that's why he has two red. Ooh. Four of them. All. So he has. <laughs> <laughs> oh my back! Excuse me, baller. Um, I'm been, shooting on a D750. I've been doing it for a while. Yeah, but see, like he's been successful. So he's been successful. Yeah. But isn't he a pro frisbee player or something like that? He plays pro- professional frisbee. There you go. Okay, I remember. So this guy has has two. He walks around with two red cameras to do his shooting, which is way overkill, but who cares? He has it. You no, know. he says it. He's like, it's overkill, but I can I, do I it. I can do it. This I can, is what I like. Cannot shoot. Yeah. Cannot shoot. He would never say good one. Because do yourself a favor. If you don't know what a red camera is, Google what a red camera it's is. heavy shit. Yeah, but Google what a red camera is. Google, no, don't even Google what it is. Google the price. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. Casey Neistat is another one. Yeah. Uh, who else you watch? Um... I watch like a lot of uh, the comic story in, um, comics explain. Okay. That's how I keep up with the, the variants. Variant comics, yes. Um, Iris. Iris Quinones. Yes. She has more comic shirts than I think I've ever seen anybody have. She has a lot. That yeah, like Iris Quinones. Much love to you, brother. I have to go to my subscribe list. Uh, Is he? Now that you brought it up. Thank you. You're welcome. But see, and for me, like, I'm a big, as it turns out, I, I, I find, and, and this is the point, there's a point I'm trying to make. For me, I watch Casey Neistat, yeah, Gary v. Vlog Brothers. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you watch Vlog Brothers. Vlog Brothers yeah. are cool. I'm a big, like, nerd, so I watch, like, Veritasium, yeah. um, Vsauce 1, 2, and 3. Complex. Um, uh, Complex. Well, no, I just watch Just uh, Eats. How, uh, Munchies. You watch Munchies? Yeah. Okay, Munchies is dope. How it should have ended. How it should have ended, though. And then, uh, um, just a couple of other, like, So, th- those are, like, like some of the, the things I watch. But this is, oh, Philip DeFranco. I watch Philip DeFranco's show. If you don't watch that, that's a pretty good one. Um, so, th- so the, in, the, the point I'm trying to make is, like, right, like YouTube doesn't just have the live and the rep. They also have content creators who do stuff completely on their own. And they are really good. Mm-hmm. You can't knock them. They have... Um, there's also um, uh, the CTFXC, which is Charles Trippy. He actually holds the world record for the longest vlog ever. He, he it's still going. He's he just broke eight years straight. He's eight years, dude, vlogging on YouTube. Like you remember him? You might know of him because, like, I think maybe four years ago. They discovered he had brain cancer, mm. and he actually managed to convince the doctors to record the brain surgery. Mm. So they, yeah, and it's crazy. He, he survived it. He re, he he recorded the recovery, everything, right? And and that that really became big, and it, it blew him up. But he was still doing it already. He was already four or five years in. You know what I mean? He he went through his marriage, his engagement, his marriage, his divorce, his new girlfriend got engaged, got married again. He's been in it that long. Dang. Okay, I want you to understand that. Oh. So there's a lot of different shows that's on YouTube that is not anywhere else. Yeah. That you will find something that you will like. Oh yeah. Guarantee it. Oh and, oh well we'll get well I'll squeeze it now. They announced uh, YouTube or Hulu. YouTube. Okay. I know we're on Hulu, mm-hmm. but um, original content on Hulu 
from Ellen DeGeneres, Kevin Hart, and a few other people coming. That's how they're trying to get you in. Coming later this year. But see, that's how they're trying to get you in. We know Lee R. Cohen's over there now. Yeah, that's the thing. But see, but see, that's that's the point I'm trying to make. It's like, listen, like Hulu has to like if they're competing against YouTube, that's a very, very, very tough market to compete against. It's tough to compete Be- with anybody. Right. You're Be- trying to. It's, it's not them. You're going to compete with Netflix. For right. Sake. And see, that's the thing. You're trying to compete. You're trying to say it's like our content is better than than YouTube's content and YouTube's live content, but they're trying to brush a fact aside that YouTube has a completely Crazy world of unboxing. Unbox therapy is another one. Oh yeah, unbox therapy. Unbox therapy is another one. I watch them. You know, so so there's so many, there's so much content on YouTube. You will not might. You will find something you like. You know what I mean? I went, I went on a random like just just to see if they had it. Um, how to um bike maintenance. Like bicycle maintenance, just so I could know how to dismantle oh. a bicycle. Oh, yeah. There is a dude, this little guy called the bike guy. Yeah. And he dismantled my antique cameras. I went and double checked. I was like, I wonder if there's somebody that likes this stuff. I literally typed a 1932 Kodak Brownie camera. There are videos for that. It's everything. Everything is on YouTube. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it's like I understand Hulu is trying to compete against YouTube, but they shouldn't. What they really need to do is just. Focus on their own and and don't try to make it like they're blatantly trying to compete with them. Yeah. Because I think they'll lose. Yeah. You I get agree. what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. I really think they'll lose. You want news content. You want conspiracy theories. You want guys that eat food that you like watching. Mike Chen. Dude, dude is dope. Yeah, I've seen him. Mike Chen is hilarious. There's also this one called Mark Weens. I don't know if you've seen him. I, I mean... I like him, but I can't watch him. Why? This is why. Like, he, he's this... um He's a... Filipino, I believe. He's a he's a guy in the Philippines and he travels around and eats. And he tries foods out. So when he eats, he does this one thing that for some reason irks the hell out of me. I know some people love it, but don't. He takes a bite, he goes, he looks right into the camera, he goes, mmm, like that. Every bite. And I'm like, dude, I can't. I can't watch you do that. <laughs> I just can't watch you. Every like, it's like this. Look, he what literally, is, what is you're that? the camera. Yeah. He, he goes, he takes a bite, he goes, every time. Like him loving it. And, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it just it's, it doesn't grab me. Yeah, it sounds... You know, there's another guy called the Food Ranger, um, Action Bronson. Oh. Wow. I watch so much on YouTube; it's crazy. I don't watch TV just because YouTube. I just go on random you can. stuff. Yeah, you get lost in there. Oh, you get so lost. You ever you ever just dove into like, um, you click on a YouTube video, then you like look at suggestions. Yes. Click on that oh, one. Yeah, yeah, suggestions. Yeah, yeah. You just go deeper into the wormhole, yeah. bro. It's bad. Exactly. It gets really bad. Exactly that deeper into the wormhole. Yeah. Right? So. Okay. So that's, that was a weird rant. <laughs> so that's Hulu, um, Hulu Live TV and different stuff. And then and along with that, they also changed the, the, the overall UI and it looks weird. And it's, like, it's, it's cool. It's supposed to be better. I'm still getting used to it. So yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah. I like, like, that's not going to convince me. Like, that's, that's yeah, you don't have Hulu, so you like, I still don't care about Hulu. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm not, I'm not beat for television shows like that. Yeah. It's very hard for me to be like... Well, yeah, it's fine. That's first of all. I've been here 14 hours. Yeah. Like that's what, and every fourteen, nothing, nothing every fourteen on. hour was, and this no, it's the day after Cinco de Mayo, bro. I said nothing comes on on Saturday, except for like maybe movies up. at night, but other than that, like nothing really comes on. Yeah, dude, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. So what's next for me, bro? One plus five is coming this summer. One pl- is that the new cell phone? One plus, one plus two. One plus yeah, one. that's the cell phone guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They skipped four. You always liked them, didn't you? You always recommended those guys. I liked them. I got the one. I bought it myself. And then, um, what was it? I probably won't get it, so I'll just keep it one. i keep it a buck. Uh, I think for the 3T, they wanted me to write about it. I'm like, yeah, going to send me one? And they're like, yeah, we'll see what we got. Wrote about it, and I ain't heard back since. So, so that's fine. I'm like, just send me, if y'all not going to send me one, don't bother emailing me. Cause see, that's, that's the thing. Uh, that's a marketing thing. I know. Some, like... On a personal level, it's like, dude, listen, you want us, you want, I will gladly review any product. Well, you look, I can't say it's dope because I don't know it. I yeah. won't see it. You can't see these shits in the store. See, that, you know what? Here's a perfect example. You mm. can easily talk about any product that's yeah. out here. Any product. Yeah, people, there's YouTube videos of people doing that. They've never seen the phone. They're just giving their opinion. Yeah. Matter of fact, matter of fact, here, photography, there's a guy named... Uh, Jared Pollan, from uh, from those photos. From, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah from yeah. those photos, what he he whenever there's a press announcement, he's quick with this. He is quick to um, record a video of just a, a five minute. What do you think? Yeah. And he literally reads the specs out to you, and he lets you know what he thinks. Mm-hmm. 
which is perfectly fine. But there's a difference between reading the specs on any product. And then actually... And actually it. putting your hands on it yeah. and saying... Because remember, matter of fact, this happened with the Galaxy S8. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just burped, sorry. Um... <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, let me talk. Uh, but no, the Galaxy S8 is a perfect example. This is this is why I say this. On specs, it looks great. You could read it all you want. But anybody who knows anything with the curved edges before this generation, your thumbs would automatically click on stuff without doing it. Mm -hmm. I had that problem, and I was that's why I was like, I don't want to do. I don't. I want to hold it in my hand. And I will give you an honest answer if I like it. Not because I've read about it somewhere or I've read the spec shit, but because I need to know how it will hold in my hand. Yeah. It is so important for that kind of situation. It's imperative. You know, like... That's what you, we do. That's what I do what I do, yeah. You, um, um, you with uh, um, reviewing Plantronic speakers. Headphones. Yeah, the headphones. Yeah. How could you do it if you don't have it in your hand? Yeah, you just you, you get what I'm saying. You how can't. can you talk about ohms and shit or how stuff sounds? Right, like yeah, man, like like you could you could you, I, I could read I could talk to you all about the specs about the ohm settings and and how much resistance and how much power it has. Yeah. But you won't know how crisp it is until you put it in your ears. Yeah. So that's uh so one plus five because I'm, I'm just trying to bring this back a bit. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what? You're right because because and, and that's the point we're trying to make. Like they want you to write something about it. Yeah. But then I. I mean, there's. I mean, usually when I write something, it's just they want you like, to copy the press release and throw it out there. That's pretty much all it is. It's just like that's becoming a waste of my time. It's called my the, time is becoming is about to become way more limited. So I because really, someone. Oh, you know what? Why I was so busy today? Oh yeah. Because somebody's about to be a daddy. You already said this. I know, but this is different because today I did the maternity shoot. Oh, they yeah. told me it was one o'clock. <laughs> Everybody showed up at three. <laughs> we got here two. Three. We got here two. Makeup artist showed up at three. <laughs> we were waiting for another hour. Y'all yeah. waited for an hour. I waited for two. Yeah. Because you showed up at one, at two. Yeah. Bastards. Love y'all. Let's do it. <laughs> um, what is it, one plus five? One plus five. They're skipping four because apparently the number four is considered bad, bad luck? luck in China. That's on them. Uh, you stupid. I mean, oh, you, you heard the quack? Yeah. So, I mean, technically they did because they nice. came up with the three and the three T. So they're talking... Oh, it's got a curved edge, That's bro. Not it. That's, these no? are these are mocks. Oh, they, these are all mocks. I think those are renders. There's no. This is the only image I saw. Oh, does it have a curve? Oh, the back. The back has a dual lens, so yeah, that's but it looks be curvy. It. it might be, but it'll, uh, we'll see. Man, so well. we're talking 5.5 inch QHD display, Snapdragon E35, 3000 milliamp battery, 23 megapixel rear face computer. That's all I can say. If I ever get my hands on one, I could probably tell you more. I'm not going to say I doubt it, but if I don't, don't be surprised. There you go. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> no waste of time on OnePlus. I mean, they're dope. I mean, the phones are dope, but... Uh, but nah. I ain't got time for the BS with the PR shit. Let me get this um, selfie game up. While, while, you, while you contemplate putting the next stuff, let me just get a quick shot of the selfie game. Just so uh, I can post up because... Yeah. Terrible photo. This is not a terrible Take a better photo. one next time. Take a better one once you're done. All right, that's pretty much done with tech. So I guess uh, movie stuff, movie uh, stuff. There's a lot of movie stuff. There you go. You see the trailer? Not the trailer. Did you see the, the Wonder Woman scene? Dope. Which one? The, they played the full scene of the alleyway with her blocking bullets and beating. I did not see that. It's like uh, it's it's, it's man, short. It's like maybe like two minutes. That was actually a good dude. You gotta look at me and smile, bro. Really? So so does it look exciting? Does it look cool or what? Yeah, it does. Try that. No, it does. Um, I mean, I'm still. I'm going to see it. There's no. You can't deter me. Have you seen those? The, the in Gotham they released uh, like a thing. Not in Gotham, but during Gotham they aired another one that uh, probably made its way online. Have you uh, seen it? You, no, they, they, that I haven't seen. So if you see it, it's like a Wonder it. Woman's behind the scenes or something like that, right? No, no. It's like different cuts, different scenes, different things. You see little cuts of uh, Ares. Like little shoulder. Yo, they're never gonna show him. They didn't show him full. Actually, they show him in human form. Oh, you think it's the guy? What's his name? The guy who asked. The guy who's not Harry Potter. No, he is. Is that official? Kind of. All right. He's because it's gonna be like, from what I understand, he's gonna be like in like two forms, like that form and then. 
Mm. Regular form. Good old Aries form. I'm here to kick ass and yeah. take names. See, this is the thing about Wonder Woman. What I really like about what they did with their marketing campaign is that they just focus on the fact that there's a female hero about to kick ass. They, they're not focusing on who the bad guy is. They're not focusing on anything more than, listen, it's time. The time has come. You know, let's go. And that, I, that I'm really happy about. Yeah. They're not focusing on the villain or any of that. And I hope they don't. Yeah, they should. Okay? Cause just folk, cause, and, and that's cool because to this moment, I have no idea what the movie's about. Think about it. You don't. I can tell you the entire thing. Don't ruin it for me. I didn't read it, but I'm Don't just, ruin it I'm for me. I'm not going to ruin it. I'm they, you know, they're they're going to show, yeah. show a little bit of origin. They're going to show... Origin, coming of age. Yeah, yeah, coming of age, and then something happens in London. We'll see. We'll see. You know? I'm just curious if we'll see Dark Side. No, no. We, they're not going to we'll see Dark Side. I'm, 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 I'm all no about that. I meant to say I'm curious if we see him in Justice League. You'll, Dark Side? You're seeing Dark Side in Justice League. Yeah. But, um, Speaking of which, did you see dark, any Dark Side gameplay for Injustice 2? Yeah. Bro, he, he kicks ass like no one. Hands on. Like, hands behind back. his back. Like, Jesus like Christ. yeah, let's go. Like, like, if you haven't seen that, that's just cool. Injustice 2. Omega Beans. Oh, the Omega Bean thing is like, crazy. You know, like, yo, this game ain't come out yet? Because I was like, they dropped trailers. Like, it dropped, let's drop, they, like, they two dropped three trailers a week of different characters. It's awesome. Like, yeah. I'm with it, but I'm like, damn. Like, it's awesome. It's completely awesome. Yeah. See, that's the thing about it. It's like Dark Side, Dark Side, um, they, they did a Dark Side trailer gameplay and a full um, game review, uh, a move re- review for Dark Side. Yeah. He is so badass. They actually make this guy walking around with his hands behind his back, just kicking your ass yeah, whenever he needs to. Stand. His fighting stance with his hands behind his back, just standing there. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, Do so. if they even remotely make him look like that in the movie, I'm going to be happy. Yeah. I'm going to be really happy. Good movie. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, Wonder Woman, dope. Uh, Defenders trailer. Dope. I actually liked it. I liked it. It's like, oh, this is why uh, Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Fist look like shit. Still haven't seen Iron Fist. Don't rush. <laughs> See, that's bad. He looks better. All I know is that he's he's. He looks is. better on Defenders than he did in the show. Okay, I'm burping my ass off. I've been, I've been, uh, I've just been snacking on really bad food Crap. all week. Yeah, it's bad. Crap. Um, yeah, the two Pepsi's is coming back up. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, I saw I saw Defenders. The trailer, it looks absolutely awesome. I like the way they, the chemistry be, with all of them together was interesting. Yeah. I like that more than anything because it, it's, it really looks like, wow, you know what? I don't know you, but we're going to get to know each other. Yeah. It kind of looked like that. Yeah. Where all of them were like, okay, yeah, maybe we got something. And Jessica's like, now nah, we don't. Like, they, like, it's like all the characters blend well and I love it. Yeah. I love know, it. Ju- uh, that little hallway scene where they all were kicking it, that was dope. Come yeah, on, that was dope. I'm just tired of hallway scene. That, how was, where else are you going to fight in New York City? Well, it's the hand. Y'all can fight anywhere. Y'all can fight in a warehouse, whatever. I'm just tired of seeing they, them. See, They're that, fighting in an office building. Like, come on. Dude, where else? Like, look, you're talking about you New York where City. where else? Look, okay, look, New York City. This is the only places you really can fight. Like, and, and all the places, I'm literally talking about damn near... One place can describe every building in New York City. You're talking about a warehouse, an office, a hallway, a stairway, a subway, a rooftop. A street and maybe a park. That's, that's about it. Fighting the damn hallway. A bridge. Fighting, yeah, do something. But, that's, but if you really think about it, that's only nine locations you can fight. I know. You, you literally will... If, I don't mind. I'm just tired of seeing an expose of their abilities in a hallway scene. It's in every show. It's in Iron Fist. It's in. Luke is it in Iron Fist too? It's yes. Really? It's too. It's too systematic. Like, oh, here go hallway scene. The Daredevil stairway scene in season two was dope. It was cool. I don't know if it was as good as the other one, but yeah, it was dope. Yeah, that was probably the like last one worth watching. They were all cool. It's just I'm tired of seeing it. Like, stop. I'm more. I'm more interested like, in um, uh, Punisher. Yeah, same here. Like defenders are cool, but you got eight episodes. I'm, I'm not, I'm not confident in your storytelling abilities. At ne- so far, these Netflix shows have not shown me in their, their confidence in their storytelling abilities past Daredevil season one. That's true. So, and yeah, I have eight episodes. So it could be really good, or perfect, or it could be completely really bad. Yeah, so that's kind of like where it gets interesting. Eight episodes, they're really just gonna be like. Let's put you guys together. It's on. Yeah, like it's first episode, they, I want to kind of... I, I would like if that entire trailer was scenes from the first episode. I would be excited then. So that means you got seven episodes to figure stuff out. Blah, blah, blah. Punisher makes a cameo. Blah, blah, blah. 
I don't want to see him. Yeah. Let's go somewhere else. Fucking guy. Um, <laughs> Dunkirk. <laughs> I got a lot to say about yeah, that go one. For it. Um, Dunkirk, a new Dunkirk trailer was released uh, yesterday. No, two days ago. Mm, yeah, two days ago. Two days ago. Um, the new Christopher Nolan World War II epic um, about the, I guess, I don't even want to call it the Battle of Dunkirk, more about the evacuation of right, Dunkirk. Yeah, yeah, that's a better um, thing. But that trailer, did, did it make you jump or make you like get on edge? It didn't. It, it, it got me a little. It got me locked in, and now next thing I know, I noticed I was like on edge. You didn't even realize, right? Yeah. See, that, that that trailer played with you psychologically. Maybe it'd just be me, but I saw it. But I, I think, it, um, and I was getting more and more entranced. I think as without that context of you telling, like, if people don't know the story, oh, the story you is probably so won't dope. get as excited. Yeah, the story is so dope. But I think they kind of put it in, in perspective. Kind the, of. This is the thing about Dunkirk. The Dunkirk was an actual event that happened when the British tried to invade Europe the first time around. Because it, yeah. it wasn't just D-Day. D-Day happened four years later. Dunkirk happened almost at the very beginning of World War II. And what ended up happening is 400,000 soldiers ended up in the city of Dunkirk. And I believe it was France. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is that when they got there, basically, they got their butts kicked by the Germans. And they were literally surrounded by all sides by the Germans. And behind them was the sea. And they had literally nowhere to go. Almost 400,000 of them were in the streets of, of the city of Dunkirk and on the beaches. The problem with the beaches is it's, it was, it was, there, were, there were nowhere to go. And um, the Luftwaffe fighter jets were literally just flying down and just spraying them, the area. Picking them, yeah. It was crazy. And um, British, in an act of desperation, they hired, they, they called to arms all the, all the civilian, civilian boats available to cross the English Channel, get to Dunkirk, and evacuate as many English soldiers as they could. And over the course of nine days, it, they did it. Mm. You know? And so, so this isn't a story that you hear too often in America because they, there, was, uh. there was no Americans. It was a British situation. Yeah. So because of that, we really don't hear too much about it. But the story is epic. 400,000 people in nine days only on boats. Think about that. Mm. That's, that's, that's pretty damn epic. That is. So, like... The trailer, they kept, I don't know how, but they kept you on edge throughout the whole thing. The ending, the ending of the trailer when the water was just rising like over yeah. inside the boat. I was like, <gasps> I, like I, I, I jumped, dude. First time I saw it, I jumped. I was so into it. And mind you, it's Christopher Nolan, so I'm not surprised. I'm not by any of that. I'm yeah. like, I'm in. I'm in 100%. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. It is so on. I just can't wait for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it looks interesting. When does it come out? Uh, it comes out, I believe, June or July. Okay. Something like that. I gotta double check. I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm to think you know what I mean? Yeah. I was too, I was too busy shocked about the whole, that trailer for me to check a date. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, Christopher Nolan one is gonna win an Oscar. There's no way around it. You know what I mean? So better. Yeah. Not he better, but they should they should definitely. You know what I know? Better. You know what I realized the other day, and, and I saw this on a Facebook video that got me kind of upset. There's a lot of hip hop artists who never got a Grammy. Nas is one of them. Plenty of. Like, I'm like, how did you not win a Grammy? It was like, a, I know it's a random, this is a random thought. This is a complete random rant in between. No um, I, I jumped, I was like, how does Nas, did not, Nas not get a, a Grammy for anything? Yeah. Damn. I but, you know, the, you know I, think, I think as as the years have gone on, consumers and fans have been more educated, has gotten a lot more educated in regards to... So we put an alarm on my calendar oh, to bring back the glass, glass bowl. bowl. The fire bowl that we didn't even use. Sorry, Nate. <laughs> um, I think uh, fans and consumers are getting a lot more uh, educated in regards to the processes of, you know, awards, uh, shit, even politics, um, music business stuff. <laughs> yep. So it's, uh, it's, it's becoming a lot more interesting. So now, as, as long as your favorite artist is still out and still working, I think, uh, think Hov's working on an album right now. I hope so. He, he, he probably needs something. I think he's an album mode right now. Oh, shoot. Uh, Kendrick just from Platinum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did it in a, in a month, right? Two weeks. Two weeks. Boom. Oh, it was a month. Might have been. Whatever. He, Who cares? He, he Congratulations, bro. Yeah. The fact that he... Uh, he uh, did his first week sales were higher than Aubrey's. Was like, oh, mm -hmm. there's a lot. There you go. See that, and that's the thing. It's like, congrats, that's awesome. Let's keep, let's keep that movement going. Yeah. You know what I mean? What else you got for me, bro? Uh, I think it might be rap. Really? Might be rap. Get out of here. 
Yeah, I'm so proud of you today. I mean, so concise and on point. Look at this yeah, guy. Yeah, was pretty. And I didn't have show notes either. Really? Yeah. Huh. Why do I feel like we're missing something? We might. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. So, Inhumans? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Inhumans. Um, there was an Inhumans, Inhumans teaser. Teaser. Um, which is only like people talking with the logo flying around. Yeah. Um, but they didn't even release the image. Yeah, hold on. We'll talk about that one in a second. Something like... <laughs> Don't rush me, bro. Don't rush me on that one. <laughs> that was that uh, okay. Back to G. Yeah, hold on. Uh, so they they released um this little short trailer of them talking blah blah blah. Nothing crazy. They just showed the logo. But then they released an image of the team. It's bad. It's bad. I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it at all. I'm not crazy. Not even like a little bit. It's all right. Like, I don't like it at all. Not unless they, sh they, they do something. Maybe it just looks weird with Medusa's hair. It looks very weird. Like, uh, maybe it'll look better when she's moving around or something. Yeah, it did look weird. But right in photo form, that looks bad, dude. It looks pretty bad. That yeah, looks I so lie. bad. Like... That's why I'm like, I'm trying to give it the better for that. Maybe the live action version will look better, but nah, not like that, man. That was bad. That was like mind-blowingly, dude, that that actually happened. Like the Marvel thing, that's a, that picture was the best picture they could come up with them. That's the one thing that blew my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not in it. Not in it at all. We'll see. I mean, it's yeah. not to come out. I mean, it's going to be like Game of Thrones, kind of. Well, I mean... Is that what they're saying? Yeah, I mean, you got... uh uh, I forgot his name. The oh. guy from Game of Thrones. He's in it playing, uh, like, the brother. The, the brother who wants to kind of, like, stage a coup. Yeah, it's, I'm not, <laughs> it's like I don't care. I don't care, bro. That see, that's the thing. You didn't bring any kind of teaser or any show any picture that made me be like, "What is it about?" You're talking to me about some dude and a brother. I'm, I don't care. Like you, you did not put me out there to be like, "I want to see this." Yeah, and I mean, that I think was it's a Marvel mistake. We have time, but Marvel TV isn't been great. I think um, uh, Agents of Shield has been doing probably the best they've done in a while. Still but... haven't seen a single episode. Yeah, okay. I saw some of the some of the YouTube clips of like uh, uh, Ghost Rider doing his thing. That's about it. Yeah, that was probably the highlight. Yeah, recently. that's yeah. But he'll be used to come back for the finale. Yeah, I really can't be like, all right, I'm in yeah, it. Yeah, nah. crazy. Nah, uh, uh, there's big Flash news, but you don't watch Flash, so I'm, uh, you're behind. So I'm, I'm not going to get into it. Well, he becomes a bad guy or something, right? I'm not, you want me to tell you? He becomes a bad guy. I saw it on like some mean thing. He's, he has a future version of himself is the, uh, the big bad. Really? Yeah. Oh.